The bent over barbell row is one of my favorite back exercises. But like many back exercises and many exercises, people tend to do it incorrectly. With the barbell row, you're trying to work the latissimus dorsi among many other muscles in your back. But whenever you do a back exercise, just like we went over with a single arm dumbbell row, there's a tendency to use the arms more than the back muscles. This is because to the untrained person, or improperly trained, the arms might be stronger than the back muscles. Also, this is an exercise where it's very easy to cheat. You'll see a lot of people, and you might be one, who strap themselves to the bar, put three, 400 pounds on, and then hitch the weight up with a, a lot of leg movement and a lot of torso movement. This is fine if you're trying to overload for some reason, but you're really missing a lot of the range of motion. So proper form on the bent over row, your grip can either be supinated or pronated. The difference is, is minimal. A supinated grip might be hard for bigger people who have a trouble turning their wrist over all the way, but it, in a way it's a little bit more of a natural line of pull. Keep in mind that the bar isn't going to your chest or stomach or anything. It's going right against your legs to your belly button or even sometimes slightly below. So when you have the bar, again, either grip works. You're going to bend over not 90 degrees, but closer to 45, as you can see here. My arms are just hanging naturally, and so this is where the bar is naturally positioned. And if I start bringing it up, you can see it stays very close to my body and doesn't do anything like this. Having the bar come out like that is a good indicator that you're pulling too much with your arms. As you can see here, my arms are moving, but my shoulders aren't being pulled back much. The pull is your shoulders being pulled back and the bar following through. The other mistake you see people make is they might have the pull correct, but as the weight gets heavier, they're doing this. And if we slow this down, they're using momentum to initiate the pull and then dropping down again towards the bar. So pretty much, the lats aren't pulling that much during the motion. Now it's important to note that the movement has to initiate with the shoulder being pulled back. This is because your shoulder blade is pulling, your shoulder blades are being squeezed together with both of your shoulder blades being pulled back. That should be the first motion, not bending at the elbow. Same thing for almost every back, typical back exercise. Watch the back muscles carefully as the pull is initiated with only the arms. You can see there's very little movement in the back. Now, the pull will be initiated with the shoulder blades being squeezed together. Now you can see a lot more muscular action in the back. This is proper form for the bent over row, and again, most back exercises. It isn't an arm exercise, it's a back exercise. Some people don't like the bent row for the reasons of it requires a lot of stabilization simply to perform the exercise. Your hamstrings, low back, and others have to contract statically just to hold you in position so you can begin the movement. This takes away some of the nervous impulse that can go to your back muscles. That may be true, but for that reason, I actually like it. I think it's good when muscles work together and fire at the same time. So for maximum contraction of the lats, maybe it's not the best exercise. But as an overall back developer, I think we can say historically, not even looking at scientific evidence, is one of the most superior back exercises there is. It's very big and it's very basic, and those are the kind of exercises I like best.